We heard late last night that uh, the last remaining Internet service provider in Egypt, Newer ISP, had been brought down and that the mobile phone uh, shutdown was coming today. Uh, we weren't in the square when the shutdown occurred. I don't know if, how it's affected them directly, but it didn't, see, it, it didn't seem to, uh, to be dampening their spirits in the square last night whatsoever. And every, the rumors started spreading right as we were leaving that the phones were going to shut down, and everyone was simply saying, look, if the shutdown occurs, meet me here at this time. Everybody knows it's starting in the square uh, in about an hour or two. So, so from what you're saying, protesters don't appear to have been very much deterred by the internet blackout. Have they found ways around it or has the internet now become largely irrelevant because the protesters appear to have reached a critical mass through word of mouth whereby demonstrations are taking place whether or not they can tweet about them? Yeah, I'd say for the most part, the Internet is irrelevant to the protesters. I think some were able, they had friends who had access to the last uh, service provider. Maybe they could hear things that were going on. But for most of them, no, it's just been mobile phones, especially since the um, the mobile phone uh, uh, blackout stopped uh, a day or two ago. They've been able to use their phones, and they've been able to organize that way. And looking at the, the, demonstra the demonstrators, how many of them, I mean, what's the cross-section of, of the youth? Uh, how many uh, young people are there around you that appear to be the, the kinds of protesters who would indeed use the Internet on a daily basis and, of course, uh, mobile phone, text messaging and whatnot? I think uh, I think a vast majority of these people probably uh, usually use the Internet on a daily basis. They're all very well informed and well educated. However, the, the, the cross section of the protesters is actually quite impressive. Uh, it's not just young people. The people we spoke with last night were uh, from all age groups. There's plenty of adults. There are plenty of people who've been around since the time of Sadat and maybe even before. Uh, but, but they're all very well informed. They're very well educated. And I'm sure that the internet ban is like nothing they've ever seen before. And you've been, but of course, speaking to demonstrators uh, throughout the night uh, for the past several hours. What have they been telling you? What's been the thrust of their message? Uh, the thrust of the message is that Mubarak still has to go. That's, uh, that's the bottom line for everyone we spoke to, is that the, the president still needs to go, uh, the job isn't done, and they realize, I think, they realize that what they're doing in Tahrir has kind of become the symbol of the whole thing, and that they need to keep the crowd there uh, to send a message to the international media that's obviously watching this, uh, and that if they lose the crowd there, and they'll lose their momentum. And they know that they need to take some kind of decisive step now, whether it's a march on the presidential palace, whether it's a march on state television. Uh, that's what they're planning today, or perhaps for Friday if today doesn't work out. But they realize that they need to send some kind of other decisive message right now.